Iridium Next is a low Earth orbit constellation that will provide worldwide data as well as voice communication. The Iridium Next program for Orbital ATK, is we are the subcontractors to Talos and Linea Space. We work alongside them to integrate and test 81 satellites to be delivered to Iridium. We have a very solid working relationship with Talos and Linea Space. They have close to anywhere between 20 to 30 representatives here on site that work alongside our team in the test and build environment of building the satellites. They don't treat us as if it's a customer to um, supplier relationship. They really come across and want to be our partner. And, and that's the relationship we have and we've really grown into. Part of that whole teaming approach, the relationship has really been good. Uh, historically here at the Gilbert Satellite Manufacturing Facility, we had supported NASA programs, uh, some commercial programs, DOD programs, single one-of-a-kind, typical space satellite programs. This was atypical and having to produce 81 satellites took a lot of planning, uh, putting together a production line for satellites is pretty unique for the industry. We come up with uh, the factory layout that allows us to uh, produce five satellites a month. There was a lot of thought. It took probably 12 to 18 months. The satellite design is produced by Talos Alenia Space in Europe. We've sent teams of critical individuals to understand the satellite's detailed design such that we could design a manufacturing facility around the detailed assembly that needs to be done with the satellite. There's between five and 8,000 parts in the satellite itself, all integrated here at the factory, which consumes primary structures that build the body of the satellite. Anything from waveguide runs, coax runs, screws, nuts, bolts to hold it all together to deployable solar arrays. They go to our manufacturing floor and through a series of about 12 integration stations, the satellite is built, it's built in two major parts. From start to finish, that entire process takes about 60 calendar days. Uh, we do work seven days a week. And we are producing in the factory at any one given time about 14 satellites to give us a complete throughput of about five satellites a month. Trying to build multiple satellites simultaneously in a production line environment is just the biggest challenge I've ever faced uh, in my career, but something uh, I take great pride in. To work on the Iridium Next program has been really interesting. Starting out, you know, brand new in the engineering field, um, there's so many different things going on, whether that be mechanical buildup, uh, the testing that goes on. It's really cool to see everything come together. Uh, just to see, you know, the, the solar arrays go up uh, is pretty cool. See the giant wingspan of the, the actual satellite and how it's going to be in orbit. I am the lead mechanical engineer for the launch site and integration of the space vehicles. I was part of taking all 10 of the first space vehicles that were shipped to Vandenberg Air Force Base. We were uh, involved in packaging them, getting them in their special containers that would get them to the launch site. I was able to be there at the launch site and uh, when it finally lifted off the ground and rumbled towards the sky, I was just in awe that finally, first major step towards accomplishing the goal of uh, augmenting the co constellation as it uh, exists today. It is a very ambitious program and um, I'm just happy to be a part of it. So we hosted our customer Talisalenia Space along with their families, our team and their families to watch the launch. So I was able to host them and, and celebrate and watch the excitement in all of them as we hit our first launch. It was exciting to see that it finally come to pass, you know, and tell us made the first phone call on one of the satellites. It was really cool to see that it worked and that I was involved in that. And that's a major milestone because you can actually start thinking about, here's something I built that is in space. So it's a very rewarding, um, feeling not just for me but for the entire team.